Well, welcome back to the second lesson in the Build Your Own Business website tutorial series. In this third part of the lesson, we will configure Gmail to use your new email account. You'll see that configuring Gmail is quite a bit different than setting up Outlook. So you can get to Gmail from our Lesson 2 page, which is at www.byobwebsite.com. Then hover over Video Tutorials, Start Here, and Lesson 2. Down here in the lower right hand corner you can see the Lesson 2 resources. If you select Gmail, the Gmail login screen comes on. Enter your username and your password and then click Sign In. This is one of my Gmail accounts, rickandersonaia at gmail.com. So now come over here to the upper right hand corner and select Settings. Go over to Accounts and Import and then scroll down to check mail using POP3 and select add POP3 email account. This brings up the add a mail account you own dialog box. In this dialog box you're going to go ahead and enter your email address which in this case is bob at byob tutorial.com obviously it's your name at your domain name.com select the next step and we get the next dialog box now username is the same username as we used in Outlook but if you need to refresh your memory you can switch back over to the Bluehost control panel in this case we'll sign into Bluehost with our login and password select email accounts select configure mail client and here are those manual settings that we saw earlier okay so the mail server username is bob at byobtutorial.com let's go back over here to gmail say bob at byobtutorial.com now the password is the same password as we entered when we created the email address so that will be the pop server is mail.byobtutorial.com and you can check that by switching back over here and seeing the incoming mail server mail.byobtutorial.com port 110 is correct I generally don't leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server. I don't need to use a secure connection when retrieving mail. I'm happy with that label for incoming messages. And I don't want to skip my inbox. So I go ahead and say add an account. It says your email account has been added. You can now retrieve email from this account. Would you also like to be able to send mail as bob at byobtutorial.com? And you say, yes, I do want to be able to do that. It asks you for the name that you would like to show up. And, of course, we'll just leave that as Rick Anderson. We're happy with that email address. We go to Next. And it asks you whether or not you want to send it through your own SMTP server. Well, actually, it's quite a bit easier to just send it through Gmail. So we'll just leave it that way and say, Send through Gmail. Select Next Step. And now it's time for verification. Before you can send mail as byobtutorial.com, we need to verify that you own this email address. To perform the verification, click Send Verification. We will then send you an email to byobtutorial.com with instructions on how to verify your address. So go ahead and hit Send Verification. And now comes sort of the interesting part. In order for us to get this verification, we're going to have to go back to our account and look at the verification email even though we can't get at it from here. 
and the tool we use to do that is webmail. So go back to your Bluehost account, go back to control panel, scroll down to your email accounts, and under the email account we're talking about, access webmail. Asks you for your it asks you for your password, which of course is your email password. And select login. Okay, this brings you up to the webmail, and you have a you know any of these three that you can choose. I'm going to go ahead and select round cube. Here's that email that Gmail sent you, so let's open it up. And you can read it here. Uh, it's asking for this confirmation code. So you select that confirmation code and copy it, which I'm sure you know is Control C. Then you go back to this Gmail thing and Control V or paste it into that there and hit verify. And you are finished. So we hit log out here for that and we'll close that and we will go back to our uh, Gmail settings here and we can go to inbox and now that we've got it set up that Gmail that we saw in the web application earlier has now been delivered to our email box and you can test this by sending yourself an email at your new domain name from any other source and uh, you should be getting your email in this mailbox from now on. Well, so that about wraps up the third part of lesson two. In the fourth part, we'll set up additional business email addresses on your domain.